Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started today, I want to take a minute to talk about plugins for Final Cut Pro. There's a lot of plugins out there. Some are free, but most cost money. And especially for paid plugins, for them to be worth the money, they have to do one of two things. These plugins either need to add a feature that Final Cut Pro doesn't have, like motion tracking, advanced stabilization, or similar, or take something that can be done and make it easier and faster. The Animated Fonts plugin from Pixel Film Studios we're taking a look at today does both. What this plugin does is animate your titles on screen to make them look like they're being written or painted on. You can do this in Final Cut Pro without plugins by either adding and keyframing a draw mask or using Apple's motion to animate the title. I've done tutorials in both of these and if you ever tried it, you know how tedious that could be. It takes forever and the results are less than perfect. The Animated Fonts plugin makes this process much easier and a lot faster. It also includes animations that you simply can't achieve using the draw mask method or even by using motion. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and take a look at what we can do with the Animated Fonts plugin from Pixel Film Studios. After installing the Animated Fonts plugin, open the Titles and Generators browser and scroll down to the Pixel Film Studios Animated Fonts category. This plugin includes a number of different presets, including Classic, Cursive, Handstroke, Lightpath, Notebook, Paintbrush, and more. It also includes a custom light path preset with up to 10 control points that you can use to highlight parts of your video. We'll take a look at this at the end of this video. First, let's take a look at using some of these custom font presets to make an intro for one of my videos. Each one of the animated font presets comes with a set of uppercase characters, lowercase, and a set of special characters. For this demo, I'll use a combination of included fonts to make a video intro. For the top line, I'll use a school look and scribble hand preset. I'll select a number and special characters preset and drag and drop it into my timeline. Skim through the clip to see what the animation looks like. This is an example of a font that would be impossible to do in Final Cut Pro without this plugin. Next, with the playhead over the clip, let's head up to the Titles Inspector to customize it. First, from the Character Type drop down menu, select your character. Under that, select the animation type and speed for the start and end animations. For mine, I'll turn off the end animation. Next, in the transform controls, you can adjust the position, rotation, and the size of your characters. In the style controls, you can change the color, line thickness, and the roundness of the corners. Here's what we have so far. For our next character, we can go through all the steps again, or an easier way to do this is just to copy the first clip. Hold down the Option key and drag up on the clip to duplicate it. With your top clip selected, in the Inspector, change your character in position, and adjust the appearance if you want it to look different. Repeat these steps until your title is complete. With this preset, you can change the animation speed, so if you wanted to animate on screen faster, select all your clips and press Option G to combine them into a compound clip. We can now press Command R to bring up the Retime menu and adjust the timing of this clip to speed up or slow down your animation. You can also use the Transform controls to reposition and resize the entire title without having to do it individually for each character. For mine, I wanted to start in the middle and then after the animation is complete, move up to make room for another title. Move the playhead to where the animation just ends and add a keyframe to the transform controls. Move the playhead ahead about 10 frames and drag the entire title up to the top half of the frame. Click done. Here's what we have so far. Let's add another title under our first one. Move your playhead to a frame after the transform animation, pick your next font and select one of the character sets. Press Q to connect it to your timeline. Once again, select your character, adjust the scale and position, and adjust the appearance. For this preset, you can also adjust the animation speed by dragging this slider. Let's drag it all the way up. And just like the previous title, let's turn off our outro animation. Copy and adjust this clip as many times as necessary to make a full title. If we play this back, you can see the characters animate on at the same time. 
To make this more realistic, let's make them come on screen one after another. Move your playhead to where the animation of your first character ends, and click and drag the clip above it to the playhead. Do the same to the rest of the clips. Once done, ripple trim the ends of your clips to the same length and combine them into a compound clip. You can now retime your clip and use the transform tools to resize and reposition your whole title. If you want this animated title over a video clip, simply connect the video clip under the title, or drag the compound clips over a clip that's already in your timeline. The black background is transparent, so whatever clip is under the title clips will show through. Next, let's take a look at the custom light paths included in this plugin. This allows you to add a custom animation to your clip with up to 10 individual points. These work great for highlighting parts of your clip. In the next example, from one of my previous videos, let's use a custom light path to highlight this beat mark button. Grab the five point light path clip from the browser and add it above your timeline. In the viewer, move the control points to make a square shape around the part you want to highlight. Place a last control point over the first one to complete the rectangle. With the title clip selected, in the inspector, adjust the parameters of the light path to make it look exactly the way you want. If you want to speed up or slow down the animation, select your title clip and press Option G to make it into a compound clip. You can now press Command R to bring up the Retime menu and adjust the speed. Here's what our finished result looks like. The Animated Fonts plugin from Pixel Film Studios allows you to add some really cool text animations to your project. But because of the complex animations included in this plugin, you have to be running at least Final Cut Pro 10.4.7 or newer. Also, make sure you have background rendering turned on and fully render out your files before playing them back. This will help you get the best performance out of this plugin. If you're interested in trying the Animated Fonts plugin from Pixel Film Studios when checking out, make sure to use the coupon code SEARCHPIXEL for 30% off this plugin limited to the first 500 users. A big thank you to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring this video and making effects like this possible with their plugins. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.